Welcome back. This is the second video for the piano theory uh, lectures that I'm doing. And before we do anything, I'm going to do a quick review of everything we did last class. Um, first thing we did was made sure we were on page one by looking at the one and the two on the right hand, left hand side here. And we labeled up on top here, Piano Theory, put our name, and we put this is page one, which is the front of the sheet. You probably will look at it unless you printed it out yourself. Then we talked about pianos in general, piano keyboards in general. We said they're made up of white keys and black keys. The white keys are a lot longer than the black keys. And we said the black keys have patterns. And on this one, it's a pattern of three by two, three, two, three, two. It's an alternating type of a pattern. Okay. That's so we can find out, we can find where we are on a keyboard very easily. And to find out where we are on a keyboard very easily, what we did was we started with number one and we said D is the white key using the musical alphabet. D is the white key between the double pattern of two black keys. So, we should always, when we're trying to label a keyboard, find out where D is. So here's the pattern of two black keys. And in between that, the white key is D. And we'll always remember that by the saying D for double. Double, the double black key starts with the letter D, double. And uh, so, and there's three D's on this keyboard. Two, and that's the third one. Okay, then we learn that the musical scale is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then start over with A, okay? So we had already labeled our Ds, so we went and labeled all the way up, E, F, G, then started over with A, A, B, C, D, and so we ran into this, the D, and we did it all the way up to the top, and we ended up on the letter B. Then I told you that when you're doing it backwards, <clears throat> rather than trying to think backwards, um, what I suggest you do is just look at what you've already done. You've already labeled a D here. So here's C. C is right before it. So you just label C. Before C is B. So you label B. Before B is A. So you label A. Before A is G. So you label G. And before G is F. So you label F. Way you make sure you never make a mistake, and it does, it does it takes very little time to do it that way. That is the way I would like you be you to be doing it. Okay, so now we're going to uh, move down to the bottom here. We, we found out that the smallest distance you can travel on a piano keyboard is called a half step. And if you look at the keyboard up on top here, you see that. All these white keys look like they're next to each other, but the only ones that are really next to each other are the B and the C because there's no black key in between them. So that would be, a, if you went from B to C, you would be going up a half step. If you went from C to B, you'd be going down a half step. And we're using all this information on time. When I say up, I'm going to the right. When I say down, I'm going to the, to the left. All right, same with E to F. We're going higher a half step if we go from E to F. If we're going from F to E, we're going lower a half step. All right. Everywhere else between F and G, there's a black key. G and A, there's a black key. A and B, it's a black key. So when we go up a half step from F, we're going to the black key. And then when we're on the black key, we're going up another half step, we're going to the white key. And up a half step to the black key. Up a half step to the white key. Up a half step to the black key. Up a half step to the white key. Then up a half step to the white key. And to prove we understood this, I asked you to fill this out down here. I started it for you. I did it. Started on the bottom key. It went up a half step, up a half step, all the way up. And when I got to two white keys are next to each other, I did it next to each other, and we did it all the way up. You should have finished this and uploaded your copy of this so that I could see that you did it correctly. Well, today we're going to continue on, and I told you we were going to be playing what we call the half-step game. 
And what the half step game is, is it's a game that we play so we get to practice uh, using these directional signals up here to go up by a half step. For instance, if I am on uh, this D right here, the lowest D, and I want to, I say, sharp it, you're going to be going up a half step because sharp up here is on the right, going to the right side. If I'm on that black key right there, and then I tell you to flat it, you're going to be going back to where you were before, D, because flat up here is on the left side. I could just as easily say, go up a half step, which would bring you back, back to there, because up is up here. Then I could say, go down a half step, which would bring you back to where you were, because down is on the other side. Or I could say, go higher a half step, which would mean you'd once again bring it to the right, lower half step, bring you to the left. Okay. All right. In playing this game, we're going to play it together first, and then I'm going to ask you to do it on your own. We'll see how you do. All right. So first thing I'm going to tell you is I want you to start on the lowest A. So obviously, lowest low would be on this side, that direction. So you find the A that is the lowest, and you're going to be pointing at that. You should point with your index finger. Never use the pencil. I'm using the pencil, so it makes it easier for you to see where I am, but you uh, should be using your index finger. Okay, so pointing at A, we're gonna play the half step, whole step game, I mean the half step game very slowly together. Okay, pointing at A, go up a half step. Go higher a half step. Sharp it. Where are you? Everyone should say C. Starting on C, going to go up a half step. We're going to sharp it. We're going to flat it. Go down a half step. Go lower a half step. Where are you? You're on B. All right, so everyone should be able to do that on their own. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you, starting on the lowest G. Lowest G would be this one right here. I'm going to, we're going to play the game. Here goes. Go up a half step. Sharp it. Lower a half step. Up a half step. Higher a half step. Sharp it. Where are you? You should be on B. Right here. I'm going to move on. Starting on B, we're going to go up a half step. We're going to sharp it. Go higher a half step. We're going to sharp it. Sharp it again. Go down a half step. Go lower a half step. Where are you? Should be on D. Starting from D. Flat it. Down a half step. Sharp it. Higher a half step. Up a half step. Sharp it. Sharp it. Where are you? Should be on F. Starting on F. Down a half step. 
higher a half step. Flat it. Flat it again. Higher a half step. Down a half step. Sharpen. Higher a half step. Higher a half step. Sharpen. Where are you? You should be on G. If you're having problems with that, you should probably practice this a little bit. But today we're going to be moving on and we're going to be moving on to the back of our sheet. So everyone, if you either turn it on over, if you have the pre-printed one that I gave you, if you printed it out yourself, you may be on a separate sheet. But in any way, any event, what you need to do is you need to take the a uh, sheet that has the four, the five, the six, and the seven down the last side of that. And once again, we're going to label up on top. We're going to call this sheet Piano Theory. Then we're going to put our name up at the top. And the other one was page 1F. This is on the back. We're going to call this page 2B because it's on the back. So it's page 2B for back. All right. First thing we're going to do is from memory, hopefully, we're going to label the top of the sheet like we did on the other side. If you have to look at the other side or if you have to watch me doing it, do it. If you can do it from memory, starting with higher. Label the top here. Okay, if you haven't finished, you may want to stop the video and uh, pause it and then start it again. Otherwise, we're going to move on today in learning about whole steps. So, we're going to look at number nine at the very bottom. Everything else up here, four, five, six, seven, and eight, will be covered in the next video that we do. Okay, so number nine, a whole step is made up of two half steps. When traveling up or down a whole step, skip the first half step and land on the second. Okay, so if a half step, let's go up to the top here on the top keyboard. If we're on the bottom one down here and we go up a half step, we would be on the black one. If we go up a whole step, then basically we're going up an additional one. So it would be on this G right here. Now, when we, we don't just go, when we do it, as we all should know, two half steps make a whole step. And rather than going two half steps and saying half step, half step, what we do is we skip the next half step to go up a whole step. Whenever we say we're going up a whole step, we say skip, and we actually point at where we're skipping, which is the first half step, and we end up on the second one. So once again, watch as I do this. Starting on this one right here, the bottom, I'm gonna go, go up a whole step, skip, and I end up on the G. All right? Now watch as I do it again. Go up a whole step. Skip. I end up on the one I'm on here. You should be doing this with me. Go up a whole step. Skip. I end up right here. Now watch as I do it. Go up a whole step. Skip. And I end up on the black key. See? Where there's two white keys next to each other, 
you have to skip the white key and go to the next one when you're going up a whole step. Okay? All right. So, the last part of this video, what we're going to do is we're going to fill out uh, going up whole steps, starting on this X here. If we go up by whole steps, we should end up on this X right here. If we go up, then we're going to go up the second half of the keyboard. And if we start on this one right here, we actually start on this one and go up by whole steps. We should end up on this one up on top here. So I'm going to get you, help you get started. And then on each one of these, I'm going to I'm going to show you how to go about doing it, and then you're going to do it on your own. If you don't end up on this one, you made a mistake, and you got to go back and look what you did. But here's how we're going to do it. I'm pointing at this key with one of my hands, this X. I'm going to go up a whole step. Skip. I actually say skip out loud, and I end up there. The one I ended up on, I'm going to put an X on. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie these two together because I went going up a whole step. I'm going from this X to that X. All right. So now I'm going to start on this X with my finger. Go up a whole step. Skip. And I'm going to end up right here. If you follow this process, you will end up where you're supposed to. If you try to take some shortcuts and just be anticipating what to do, you're going to in some cases, you're going to start making mistakes. So now I'm going to start on this X. Go up a whole step. Skip. And I end up here. I put an X. I tie the last two X's together. I'm going to do one more for you. Go up a whole step. Skip. Now, this is the first one. I've ended up on a black key. So what am I going to do? I'm going to tie these two together. I'm not going to draw it to here. I'm going to draw it up to where they put the X. If you start taking shortcuts, you're going to start making mistakes. Now from here, when you skip, you're going to end up on another black key. So you've got to make sure you do that if you want to end up on this X. Now I'm going to get you started on the Y. When you get done and you've actually connected it up to the X, I want you to start here. And you're going to do the same thing, but you're going to use the letter Y. So starting here, Starting on Y, I'm going to go up a whole step, skip, you end up here, and I'm going to put a Y. I tie them together. Same process, only using Ys. You'll end up on this one if you do it correctly, and this one you'll end up on this one. When you're done with that, I don't want you to hand anything in because we have one more learning uh, period where we're going to be learning you know, about four, five, six, and seven. Um, now, once again, remember this. When traveling up or down a whole step, skip the first half step and land on the second. Show your skip. Once again, I'm going to demonstrate it up here. Go up a whole step. Skip. Always have to say skip out loud. Go down a whole step. Skip. Go higher a hat, whole step. Skip. Go lower a whole step. Skip. Okay? Do that. And uh, when you're done, um, move on to the third video.